Because of Hurricane Ike, Houston had to wait a full month to finally get a home game. Then they blow a 17-point lead with eight and a half minutes to go in their home opener against the Colts. The good news, they're home every Sunday this month. Today, the 0-4 Texans tried again against upstart 2-2 two two Miami. And let's look, Miami certainly knows all about what's going on with Houston being winless. The Dolphins were winless last year until December. These Dolphins, comparatively, they're swimming like Michael Phelps. They've won two straight, beating the two AFC title game teams from a year ago, New England and San Diego. And remember the 70s when Miami won Super Bowls with power running? Chris, <laughs> these Dolphins have gone either farther back in history, taking a page from pre-World War II playbooks. They definitely did, Boom. And the Dolphins at 0-2, Boom, they were really reaching the straws, and they knew they had to travel to New England, and they really wanted to dig deep into their playbook. Man, I, I was shocked. They dug 100 years deep in that playbook. When we look through the history of the game, there's been other occasions when coaches have looked and said, here's the hand I'm dealt with. Now, how do I do something different to make my offense a little more deceptive, a little more effective? Oh, man, that opened up. Oh, 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 the week. Patriots have no idea what hit them. Oh, my goodness, was that a beautiful play by the Miami Dolphins. Going into the New England week, we tried to introduce that, that style of offense. And when you do that, I've been down that road before, you do that, and you're kind of skeptical. You want to know how it's going to work. I was like, realistically, yeah, this is something I'm going to be excited about. We probably want to do it in the game. You don't see that kind of stuff in the NFL. A lot of us were thinking it's not going to work. An unbalanced line. Wing back in motion. Quarterback flanked out wide and a running back taking snaps from center. To NFL teams, the Wildcat must seem like an offense from another planet. In week three against the Patriots, Miami scored four touchdowns in just six plays out of this formation. The spread option the Dolphins are running has staggered the New England Patriots. Do you remember before that moment ever being on the field in New England looking confused? Usually their strength is that they're always composed and they know what you're going to do before you do it. And for us to throw a wrinkle in like that and really throw them off, it really, really set us up. Now, from an X's and O's standpoint, how do you gain an advantage in the Wildcat? Well, the first thing is usually when the quarterback is under center, um, it's basically 11 on defense and 10 on offense. But when you take the quarterback out and you put him as a receiver who's going to block, and then you put the running back at quarterback who's, who runs the ball most of the time, it makes the number count more even in, a, in our advantage. Dolphins quarterback coach David Lee learned the formation while serving as an assistant at the University of Arkansas, where he worked with offensive coordinator Gus Malzahn. There, the formation was called Wild Hall, and the star, Darren McFadden. You know, in today's game, you know, you find ways to get the ball to your best players. A little bit unconventional, you know, and the way I always looked at it, you got to have your best player, I believe, you know, that you take a direct snap. He's got to be versatile enough not only to run it, but be able to throw it. Ronnie Brown throws it with the left hand to Anthony Fasano. Touchdown by Emmy. Miami's two-week winning streak has pulled the glitzy NFL back into its muddy roots. With Brown playing the role of a latter-day Bronco Nagurski, the Wildcat is derived from a single wing, an offense created by legendary coach Glenn Pop Warner nearly a century ago. The similarity between the Wildcat offense and what we're seeing today and the single wing is really that, that word deception. The difference, I think, uh, between Pop Warner's single wing and this deception or Wildcat uh, formation is that the pass is still a viable entity. But with uh, Ronnie Brown and uh, the formation they use, obviously he can run, he can pass, he can swing to the left, he can swing to the right, or he can go straight forward. With the athletes you have on defense now, and they're bigger, they're faster, they're stronger. A lot of times, you can't just line up in base stuff and expect to smash mouth people. You can't do it. You have to create mismatches. You have to create space in the running game, you know, by design. And so right now, you would say the coaching staff is still in the laboratory, and they're utilizing you guys as guinea pigs to experiment <laughs> with the Wildcat off. I think they're having fun with it, and I know we're having fun with it. And anytime you win, you have fun.